Thank you, everyone. And I am proud to stand here with all of our Providence and Rhode Island residents standing up for justice and standing up for the principles that we believe in here in our state. And we have a message from Mr. Trump, and that's that America is already great, not in spite of our immigrants, but because of our immigrants. And here in our city, I am so happy to proclaim that Providence always has been and always will be a sanctuary city for our most vulnerable. And our state is also great because of religious tolerance. And so, so we stand here with our Muslim brothers and sisters to say that we will stand with you every single step of the way. When I look out at the crowd and I, I, and I see people gathering throughout the United States, it gives me great hope. But we have to be realistic about what we face. We face a man who, we face a man who calls for extreme nationalism in an attempt to turn us against one another. We have a man who attacks and undermines the media in an attempt to, in an attempt to obscure the truth. We have a person who allies, allies himself with the military, cozies up to dictators, while he threatens to send the military into our cities. This is a man who has surrounded himself by the ultra-rich and is targeting the vulnerable. These are all the acts of an insecure bully. These are the acts of a hateful administration that must be stopped. And so we have to resist. We have to strategize, we have to organize, and we have to oppose him at every turn. We will use every tool that we have in the courts, in the streets, in every church, in every mosque, in every synagogue, in every, in every school, and in every city. To our, to our immigrant and refugee brothers and sisters, our message is clear and our message is plain. You are our brothers and sisters, and we will stand with you, and we will stand between you and this hateful man with our bodies if we need to, every step of the way. Thank you.